ECDL Advanced Excel Lesson 23 Using Names in Formulas As well as manually defining names for individual cells, they can be automatically created for ranges of cells based on existing row and column headers. This will do using the Create from Selection button. Existing names can be used in new formulas by typing the cell name or by using the Use in Formula drop down paste command. OK, so let's see how that works. You should have open from the last lesson the file VAT2. If it's not already open, please open it. And we want to select the range B4 to F7. Let's go for the Formulas tab. If we go to the Defined Names section, and select Create from Selection. Make sure the top row and left column are selected, as they are here. And then click OK to create names based on the row and column headers for the selected range. Click Yes to replace Price. Now select Apply Names, which you'll find from the Define Name drop-down. So Define Name drop-down. Apply Names, and this will display all the names that have just been created. The new names will be highlighted, so we can see here that's February, January, March, Price, Tax, Total and VAT. And then click OK to apply these names to all formulas. Next, let's insert a column between March and Total, so select at the top, select the whole column, Right click and then insert. So we've now inserted the column. And in F4, enter April. And in F5, type 5050. In cell F6, type equals F5, star for multiply. And then click Use in Formula. Select the VAT rate, which you'll see from the displayed list, and the name is then pasted into the formula. Press Enter to complete the formula. Next, enter the appropriate formula in F7 to add the total price for April. Which would be equals price plus VAT. Check the formula in the total column to make sure that they include the new figures, and indeed they do, 5050 plus 1010 is 6060. Then let's copy this across to January, February and March. So copy, and then paste. And now we have, for the moment, this spreadsheet complete. OK, if you save the workbook as VAT2, so it's just a file save, and then leave it open for the next lesson. OK, thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you next time.